it interests me to figure out how, how stuff works. And that's what I do both in my work and in my spare time. If it doesn't work, make it work. I won't stop until I get something that works satisfactory. For all the years that I have known him, he has had these kind of projects. He often comes up with new ideas and just need to try it out. Problem solving, that's, that's what I do and like doing. I just have an urge to, to figure out how stuff works. I don't know why. The micro step, uh, it was something me and uh, another guy from uh, the university, we started in a uh, summer holiday. And then we just tried to put that on a crowdfunding platform um, just to see would anyone buy this. A lot of people wanted to buy those. So um, we got, it, got the project funded. Actually, two artists have used it for light setting on big pieces uh, of artwork. It's always interesting to see what people come up with, with the product you, you've developed. You could say, I usually start a lot of projects. Of course, I have a work, family, and then electronics, uh, robots, motorcycle. I always have something that I find interesting in a moment that I can jump to. The reason why I chose to go with Navimo was first off, it didn't use boundary wires. When I looked at the technology that is used on the Navimo, I know that this technology is something that works in the setting it's going to be used in. With the robot mower, and especially with one like Navimo that doesn't get stuck all the time, I, I save a lot of time that I can use for doing my small projects. The motorbike I, I bought some years ago, when I bought it, it was almost original and it was a bit rusty and uh, yeah, old. Now it's rebuilt to the state that I can ride it. If we could exploit tools like robots to do some of the work for us, we would add value to the world by the help of the robots and get more time to do maybe creative stuff, develop new technologies. I'm optimistic about the future, so I, I look forward to the future. <laughs>